Before the video starts, we're doing a giveaway for Dragonflight Epic Edition, so make sure to stay tuned until later in the video to find out how to enter. Season 3 is about to end, and some of you might be doing a last minute push. Well, Skillcapped is here to make that easy, and today we will go over the best comps for Gladiator in these final weeks. And don't worry, every spec will be included, so you definitely won't want to miss out. Before we start though, we have one huge disclaimer. If we don't mention a comp in this video, it doesn't mean it's bad. We just try to be as efficient as possible and select the strongest comps for each spec, assuming you want the best chance at a last minute gladiator push. And of course, we will be mentioning a lot of meta comps because if you want the best chance at gaining rating, then playing the meta is typically best. First up, we have Death Knights. Now obviously Unholy has seen a massive surge in popularity this season and it's definitely become a meta breaker. For Gladiator, we recommend playing with another key meta disruptor, Demo Warlock. And not to spoil too much, but Demo will be popping up a lot throughout this video. Demo DK is a bane for any healer, combining a strong MS effect from the Warlock's pet with necrotic wounds from the DK. And in case you are still playing Frost, then Windwalker DK is probably your best bet. There might only be three people in the world playing it, but it still has its iconic grip sweep synergy that is enough to knock the pants off duelist level teams. Next up, we have Demon Hunters, who probably do best while playing with an unholy DK. DHDK is an incredibly difficult comp to deal with as a caster DPS, as both classes are incredibly disruptive and tanky against magic damage. This comp is able to do fairly well against RMP, which of course is one of the main gatekeepers of Gladiator ratings. And surprise surprise, the best healer for this comp is Holy Priest. But you can have some flexibility by also pairing with a Resto Shaman for a more aggressive variety, or even a Resto Druid for a slowed down experience. Moving on, we have Druids, starting off with Balance. Here you have two unique options. The standard recommendation is Boomy DH, which has a devastating one minute setup. But if you want to be an innovator, you can experiment with Boomy Demo. This comp has insanely good consistent pressure, which comes on the back of a recently buffed MS effect from Felguard. Essentially, this is just the boom conversion of Jungle Cleave. And speaking of which, Jungle continues to be the strongest comp for Feral Druids in Season 3. This comp is still a massive HPS check for enemy healers, while also being incredibly tanky, especially now since it is almost exclusively played with Night Fae Holy Priests. And finally for Resto, there are a few different comp options, but the best one for ladder is likely Ret Warrior. This comp is still an execution test for many aspiring gladiator players, as its massive damage swings are just overwhelming for the majority of duelist level healers. Alternatively, DK Demo works really well as Resto, and it will probably be the flavor of the month comp for many healers in these final weeks. Next up, we have Hunters, and this is probably the most streamlined class in terms of comp selection, with Jungle Cleave easily being the best comp for all three specs. Now, we know what some of you might be thinking. Maybe you don't want to play a standard meta comp, and if that's the case, then Thug Cleave is a really good alternative, especially for survival and marks. This comp might not have the best matchup spread compared to jungle and requires an experienced rogue to carry, but it's a solid choice for anyone looking to experiment. Unlike Hunter, every mage spec has a wildly different primary comp. Fire should be obvious by now with RMP. You already know how it goes. 3, 2, 1, okay, GG. For anyone playing Frost, then Mage Lock is still your best bet. This time though, it is best played with a Demo Warlock. The buffs to Felguard MS have given a new offensive edge to this comp now that Destro has fallen out of the meta. So if you want a true wizard experience, then MLP is for you. And for the tens of people out there still playing Arcane, your best option is likely pairing with a Windwalker. This will give you a bit more flexibility in CC setups, and this comp is truly designed for a hit and run play style, which Arcane is typically well suited for. And speaking of monks, Mistweaver has a solid option with Ellie Demo. Generally speaking, Mistweaver monks need caster DPS partners to soak interrupts, since they have to actually channel most of their heals. So it just makes sense to play with the most meta caster, which of course is Demo Warlock, while also having some additional defensive coverage with Elemental Shaman. For Windwalker monks, there are a few great choices. You really can't go wrong playing with a Demo Warlock, but outside of that, you have a few cleave options with Fury Warriors or Enhancement Shamans. Both of these cleaves are incredibly explosive and are great for ladder grinding, considering most of your games will be under two minutes. Moving on, we have Paladins. So here's the thing, Holy Paladin is kind of weird. In many ways, it's just a worse version of Holy Priest, a jack of all trades, but master of none. There are plenty of different comps you can play as a Holy Paladin, but your safest option for Gladiator are likely Turbo Cleave or Ellie Demo. Both of these comps give you a fair amount of defensive coverage without needing to be super interactive. Rhett, on the other hand, has a clear winner for best comp with Rhett Warrior. Once again, this seems to be one of the most consistent ladder grinding comps and is a massive gatekeeper for many duelist level players. You can't really go wrong playing this setup for the remainder of season three. 
Next up, we have Priests. Look, we know that Discipline has dropped out of the meta considerably in recent patches, but it can still make a name for itself with its standard meta staple, Jungle Cleave. And as far as Holy is concerned, the world is your oyster. Without a doubt, Holy Priest is the most versatile healer in the game, and you can never go wrong playing RMP or Jungle Cleave. What a surprise, right? And finally, for Shadow, your best bet is Shadow Play with Demo Warlock. We know what you're thinking, Demo is everywhere in this video. Well, that's because it's arguably the strongest DPS in the entire game. Even though you might want to play with Affliction as a Shadow Priest, Demo offers way more defensive coverage and control, which really helps elevate your own defensive-oriented toolkit. And with that, we move on to Rogue. Assassination isn't that common in 3v3, but playing with a Fire Mage is likely one of your best choices. Alternatively, if you want to ladder grind quickly, you could also play with an Unholy DK. This comp is designed for one or two minute games and can absolutely blast enemy players during Vendetta and Abomination Limb. And as far as Sub and Outlaw are concerned, do we really need to tell you what is best? In case you've been living under a rock, it's definitely RMP. With that said, Outlaw can also play with Unholy DKs for a slightly off meta experience. Speaking of slightly off meta, Elemental Shamans have proven to be quite good this season, which is reflected in their representation. Their best comp currently is Ellie Demo, which you can play with a wide range of healers. Demo Warlocks offer nice setup coverage with stuns and the additional utility of a powerful MS effect, which is perfect for the attrition based playstyle of Elemental. The best composition for Enhancement Shaman hasn't really changed in nearly a decade, as Turbo Cleave continues to be the best setup for the end of Season 3 and will probably be the best comp in Season 4. Once again, it's still a really bulky melee cleave and is actually pretty decent against gladiator level RMPs. Resto is a bit tricky since they are a really sensitive healer and seem to do best with incredibly aggressive melee cleaves. With that in mind, DHDK is one of the best ladder grinding comps on the market. Once again, it is relatively tanky into wizards and can be played hyper aggressive for super quick games, a perfect combination for the gladiator grind. That brings us to the star of season 3, Warlocks. Well, kind of. Affliction has yet to return to form in Shadowlands, but nerfs to both Hunters and Warriors in 925 hotfixes seem to help slightly. If you play this ancient artifact of a DPS, your comp selection is a bit limited and your best bet is pairing with a Shadow Priest or Ellie Shaman for a last minute push. But unlike Affliction, Demo has the widest variety of comp options in the game. Who knew that giving a 25% MS effect to a tiny caster would result in massive gains? Of course, Demo can pretty much play with anything and do well. Seriously, it can play with anything, but if you really want to min-max and get sweaty in these final weeks, Demo DK is likely your best choice. And that, unfortunately, brings us to Destro. After a brief period of dominance in the early season, Destro is left as a fragment of its former self. With that in mind, if you want to wake from the ashes, then MLP is still your best option. You definitely need the additional zoning coverage offered by a Frost Mage in order to fully utilize your Bursty Toolkit. And with that, we are left with the final class on our list, Warrior. This one is relatively easy. Ret Warrior is certainly the best ladder grinding comp for the end of Season 3. We've already mentioned it a few times so far, so you already know the drill. In case you really don't want to play this meta gatekeeper, Warriors continue to have a wide variety of comp options like Turbo Cleave, Kitty Cleave, or even Warrior Mage as viable alternatives. Before we wrap up, we are giving away Dragonflight Epic Edition. All you need to do to enter is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment for what comp you plan to play for the end of the season. And if you want some help for your final push, be sure to check the video description. There you will find a discount link for skillcap.com, which you can gain access to over 600 class guides and a thousand arena commentaries designed by pro players. With a 250 rating game guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Unlock your true potential and start your PvP journey today. Visit skillcap.com to learn more. Anyway guys, that about wraps it up for this one. We hope you found this useful, and we will be giving you a 3v3 meta update with the release of Season 4, so be sure to stay subscribed. As always though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.